Hey everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and certified lactation counselor here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I am here today to talk to you about infant sensory processing, specifically looking from birth to three months of age, and the systems that we'll cover today are the visual system, auditory system, and oral motor development. So first, let's dive into the visual system. What we know about infants is at birth, they are highly sensitive to light and dark. So for the first couple weeks of life, infants best respond to black and white. Around three weeks of age, they start to recognize the color red. And then around three to four months of age, infants can decipher between different shades of color, specifically between red and green. When we're looking at visual motor development in general, at two months of age, we expect an infant to be able to track an object. And then at three months of age, they would start to reach for that object that they were tracking. Remember that at three months of age, we're not looking to reach up, grab a toy and come down. Around three months of age, we're starting to look at swatting at objects. Grabbing them and pulling them down will come later. I want to talk a little bit about what some of, my, some of my favorite toys are for working on visual development in infants. The first thing that I really love is any type of mirror. A mirror is going to be working on the infant looking around when they're in tummy time. It's looking at depth perception, so how far away they are, how far away you are, and then also starting to recognize spaces, which is very important for infant's development. I also like to have a set of black and white cards. These are great to have up when infant is working on tummy time, um, or you can have them on the floor so they can play with them. I like to have a variety of these. I also like to use toys that light up um, because it works on that initial response to something happening with a toy um, and helps keep an, an infant's interest. So I love this piano because it's, it'll light up all around it and an infant can be in tummy time in the middle of this and work on looking to both sides. They can also interact with it as they get older to push the buttons. And then I also like, this is a little bit more calming of a toy, um, but we have a little bit of movement and light in this toy as well. And then finally, the last toy that I recommend for infants is actually Bubbles because they can work on visual tracking and it's a novel stimuli. Um, so something new and might keep their attention for a longer period of time. Um, and then finally, a great way to work on visual processing is also to go with baby outside. Um, so being outdoors will provide familiar stimuli, things they tend to see like the backyard, the same trees, but also some novel stimuli, different animals, cars driving by, those type of things. So that can be a great way to expose infant to a variety of sensory experiences for their visual system. Now we're gonna dive into the auditory system. In the birth to three month of age range, what we're looking for is for infants to turn their head towards the sound, react when a loud sound happens, and calm to soothing or quiet sounds. There are a couple main ways that you can work on auditory processing in your infant. The first one is just to talk to your infant. You can narrate what's going on in the environment around them, talk about what they might be doing or what you might be doing, or even reflect on how they might feel in the situation. You can also sing to your infant, play music, or read a book. It's also wonderful to bring your infant outside, kind of similar to what we talked about with the visual system. Being outdoors will work on hearing novel and familiar sounds, and the outside has a lot of different places that sounds are coming from, so infants can start work on orienting to different sounds in their environment. And then there's also a couple of toys that you can work on auditory processing with. For these, I tend to recommend rattles, and I like to have a variety of rattles because they all make a little bit different sound. So you can kind of play around with different rattles. You can use both at the same time to have infant turn towards one sound and then turn towards another sound. You can also work on handheld rattles. Um, this can also be a great time to work on um, socks that have the little rattles on them or bells because again, if an infant ha is having to move, um, then the sound is dynamic in their environment and they're orienting to where it's at. And the added benefit of them also making the sound helps them to figure out where it's coming from. And then finally, what we're gonna talk about today is oral motor development. 
when we talk about the development of taste in infancy, typically their taste profiles for birth to three months of age is through milk, um, whether it be through breast milk or formula. But when an infant gets close to three months of age and is able to bring objects to their mouth, you can start to work on oral development um, using a couple different tools. Um, and these are some of the top chewies that I recommend for infants, really in that three to six month range um, that address different oral motor skills. So actually the first one doubles as our rattle. So I love the O-ball because this one works on tongue lateralization. They can move their tongue through the different circles and grooves. It's also really easy to hold onto. They can curl their fingers into it and it gets the added bonus that it also shakes. The next one I like is this Como Tomo teether. And the reason I like this is the um, open round part is easy for infants to hold onto. And then these prongs on it or legs are long, so infant is actually working on moving their gag reflex when these longer pieces are back in their mouth. So this is a great one for moving around infant's mouth, and it gives them that tactile input as well. There's some different, um, different textured ridges on this one. Next, I really love one of the ARC baby chews. The reason I like the baby ones is because they're a little bit softer and more malleable. But again, what I like about this one is the long part at the end. This is gonna work on moving that gag reflex back, which is super important for when we wanna start solids around six months of age. I also love these fruit, fruit chews, and these are a little bit different than some of the other ones. The reason I like these is these actually promote jaw opening. So when an infant puts it in their mouth this way and then rotates it, they're actually opening their jaw wider to accommodate for the toy. They also have some different textures, which can be great for that overall oral sensation. And then finally, I also love these longer silicone chewers. You wanna make sure that your infant is accurate with getting things to their mouth and taking it out before you give this one. These can only go back so far when you're looking at the, the shorter ones, but with this longer one, you just wanna make sure the infant's able to pull it out just because it is a little bit longer and you don't wanna have them continually gagging and not be able to pull it out. But I love this Chewy because A, of its length, you can really get it back and work on that gag reflex. There's also multiple different feelings on this one. And I love to use this one when we're introducing purees because you can get the puree on it. Um, and it, if you start it early, it'll be a familiar tool. So that can help with the transition into puree for your infants. We will cover the other sensory systems in part two. So make sure to check back for that video. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out and we'll be more than happy to answer those. Thanks so much.